Suppose you want to lift something with pulleys and you want to know what's the mechanical advantage. Well, if you have just one pulley here, you're pulling on one rope, one rope is pulling on the mass. So the tension's actually going to be equal to the weight and you're pulling just as hard as you would if you were lifting directly, you just have better leverage. So if you want to get mechanical advantage more than multiplying by one, then you need to use more than one pulley. So if we have two pulleys here, you pull on this rope, and the mass is pulled here and here. This is tension, this is tension. If these pulleys are frictionless, for simplicity we assume that, then all of the tensions are the same, which means you only have to pull with half the weight. There's a price to be paid, of course. You have to pull two meters of rope to make this go up one meter. Because to make this go up a meter, you have to make this one meter shorter and this one meter shorter. So you have to reel in two meters of rope. So you can do a big force for a short distance or a little force for a greater distance. But the force times distance will be the same. The mechanical advantage is just making it possible for a person to, say, lift an engine block, uh, even if they're not particularly strong. They just use enough pulleys and put in all the work they can make it happen. So here we have four pulleys. The mechanical advantage, is it four? Yes, because what you do is you take the object and you count how many ropes are lifting it. There are four ropes lifting it, and so you have a mechanical advantage of four. You only have to pull with one fourth mg. So that's the key idea. Count how many ropes are pulling on the object.